police cars chase a fleeing robotic tank through Bellwood City streets as the movie opens. The robotic tank eludes the police by using laser beams and missiles to attack structures. Ben, Gwen, and their grandfather Maxwell Tennyson follow the evading tank from the rust bucket. The tank strikes the rust bucket, sending it flying into the structure. The tank, on the other hand, spreads out its spider-like legs and points its gun at the rust bucket. The Tennysons retreat as the tank attacks, but one of the rust bucket's tires bursts, giving the tank the opportunity to corner them beneath the skyway. Ben tries to utilize the Omnitrix to combat the robotic tank, but Max prevents him from taking on his extraterrestrial form. Max exits the car brandishing a weapon, firing at the tank. Ben ignores Max's instructions and changes into Upgrade, one of his extraterrestrial forms. Gwen uses her magic to stop Ben from attacking the robotic tank, since she thinks it is more powerful than Ben's upgrade powers. Ben initially disagrees, but Gwen restrains him with magic panels. When Gwen frees him, he seems to concur but then strikes and unites with the robotic tank. He mistakenly upgrades the robotic tank's weapons thanks to Upgrade's technology and tries to stop it from going crazy. Ben continues to command the tank even as Gwen electrocutes him with a disassembly spell. Max and Gwen almost get wounded when the tank starts to disintegrate. Ben collects his nanites from the wreckage, reforms his upgrade, and then reverts back to Ben after being affected by the deconstruction spell. Max is promptly rescued by Gwen from the tank's wreckage. Max instructs Ben and Gwen to stop arguing over who is to blame when they do it again. Unaware that the Omnitrix is surging with Gwen's pink energy from the disassembly spell, they begin to leave. Later, Ben glides his hoverboard through the streets of a foreboding Bellwood that has been abandoned. He first believes the dark figure he sees when he turns a corner to be Max, his grandfather. But when the dark figure burns, it reveals itself to be one of Heat Blast's aliens, who then assaults him. With the help of his hoverboard, Ben manages to flee, but later he meets four arms, Stinkfly, Diamond Head, and Wild Mutt. He challenges every alien, and then out of nowhere, his hoverboard starts acting strange. The upgrade emerges from the board and engages him in combat. Ben is able to avoid them, but after falling to the ground, Wei Big picks him up and demands that he complete his schoolwork. When he awakens, his instructor is asking him for his homework. Ben is shocked by his instructor and passes over a paper right away, but the Omnitrix suddenly flashes a pink light, and the paper disappears as soon as the teacher touches it. When Ben's instructor discovers a sketch of himself in his notebook, Ben is given a history report to write and is put in detention. Cash and GT power trip Ben and imprison him in a locker in the locker room. Ben tries to change into four arms, but he really becomes Heat Blast. Heat Blast's hot plasma sets off the school's fire alarm as soon as he exits the locker. He quickly takes off his Heat Blast and flies home. Later, he overhears calls from Carl and Sandra, his parents. Before his parents walk into the room, he briefly panics before thankfully reverting to Ben. Ben gets suspended as a result of his inability to explain the charred stains Heat Blast's feet left on their carpet and is prevented from going fishing with his grandfather this weekend. Ben contacts his grandfather to ask him to convince his parents to let him join them on their fishing trip in the evening, but Max declines and says he doesn't want Ben to be estranged from his family like he almost was in the past. Ben tries to finish his history assignment, but promptly quits up after grudgingly accepting his destiny for the weekend. His laptop then vanishes and the Omnitrix flashes, leading him to assume that it was destroyed by the device. Then he contacts Gwen to trick her into helping with his history report, but Gwen hangs up on him. When suddenly a crystal flies through his bedroom window, Ben pouts because Gwen offered him no assistance. When he turns to gaze outside, Tetrax is there, a Petrosipian bounty hunter from the planet Petropia, where Tetrax and other silicon-based lifeforms reside. Tetrax tells Ben that Asmuth has to meet with him because he has a message. The two leave for the place where Tetrax's spacecraft is stationed in a woodland. Tetrax questions why Asmuth is not present after they both agreed to meet at those coordinates as he exposes his spacecraft. Tetrax notices Ben's Omnitrix blinking and thinks there must be a problem with it, but Ben won't let Tetrax to check it out more. Ben sets off to locate Asmuth, but while he travels, the Omnitrix releases a blinding light that results in a truck collision. A large branch falls and confines Ben as he tries to approach the vehicle. A Toka star appears as the trees start to fall. It attempts to tread on him, but Tetrax frees him by showing up. The Omnitrix turns Ben into Stinkfly as he attempts to change into Way Big. Tetrax informs Stinkfly that the gigantic alien's vulnerability is its fin on its head. Stinkfly is then told to go to the fin while he diverts the Toka star. Ben gets to catch the fin before plummeting to the ground when Stinkfly unexpectedly changes into Ben as he approaches approaches the fin. The Toku star disappears as the Omnitrix flashes. Ben is still of the opinion that, like the laptop, the Omnitrix annihilated the extraterrestrial, 
As the Tokastar vanishes, he hits the ground, and Tetrax catches him. Ben proposes they look for Azmuth, because Tetrax thinks there may be a connection between the Tokastar and Azmuth. Without Ben's knowledge, Tetrax adjusts something on his Omnitrix as they go back to his ship to look for Azmuth. The spacecraft launches, and as they are ready to enter space, it is attacked repeatedly, leading to a hole being punctured in the ship's hull. Ben attempts to hang on to a chair, but he is sucked out of the ship by the hole. As he descends to the ground quickly, he shouts out for Tetrax. As Gwen and Max are getting ready to go fishing in Bellwood, Max gets a call from Carl informing him that Ben has left and fled. Carl is reassured by Max that they will search for Ben. Ben is nowhere to be seen when Gwen uses the locate spell, and she can only follow his energy as far as the forest. They go to the truck's accident site, where Gwen feels Ben's energy, and notices Tetrax crystal trails on the trees that indicate an extraterrestrial struggle has taken place. When they subsequently encounter the vehicle, Gwen uses her magic to reveal that it is really an alien spacecraft covered in a truck. T-Trax shows up in his damaged spacecraft at that same moment and wants to speak with them. Ben changes into Diamond Head moments before he lands, although he is unsure of his exact location. He attempts to return to Ben as he moves down the path, but Four Arms appears instead. As he makes his way closer to Stonehenge, a galvanic mechamorph, dubbed Retaliator attacks him and demands the presence of another extraterrestrial. A conflict develops. Retaliator is attacked by four arms, but because he has teleportation, he has a tiny edge. Retaliator melts and changes into a more capable mechanical warrior after four arms knocks him off Stonehenge. Retaliator keeps requesting an alien that Four Arms is unfamiliar with. He seeks to deceive Retaliator so he may strike and put Retaliator off balance. Retaliator, however, teleports away and fires missiles towards Four Arms. The missiles are intercepted by Four Arms, which then changes course to collide with Retaliator. Retaliator discusses destroying Tetrax's spacecraft as the battle goes on. When Four Arms discusses Azmuth, he inquires as to what he knows about it. Stonehenge is ultimately destroyed by the conflict. Retaliator wonders where Four Arms went when Four Arms changes into Upgrade. Instead of interrogating Upgrade and transporting him to his planet, Retaliator makes the decision to transfer Upgrade to Rio. Because of Upgrade, his teleporter malfunctions, making it impossible for him to teleport to his home planet. Upgrade morphs into Stink Fly and flees when he teleports once again, this time landing atop the Tetraman-built Egyptian pyramids. He entraps Retaliator atop the pyramid with his slime and introduces the Omnitrix. When he emerges from the slime, Retaliator still strikes since he doesn't think he's real. With his water strike, he pushes Stink Fly into the building, but Stink Fly changes into Heat Blast and escapes through the collapsed structure. Heat Blast attempts to strike Retaliator but is stopped by a massive ice cover. Dangling him from a building, Retaliator questions Heat Blast about Tokastar. When Heat Blast says that it vanished, Retaliator doesn't believe him. Fortunately, Heat Blast changes into gray matter and flees. Tetrax tells Max and Gwen what occurred back in the jungle and explains that he changed the Omnitrix to prevent Ben from changing back to his regular state for his safety. Gwen proposes they find Azmuth since he may be able to assist them find Ben, because Max cannot disguise his annoyance. Tetrax is led to assume that Azmuth did actually reach Earth when she adds that the truck is Azmuth's spacecraft. When the three go inside, they learn that Azmuth has been monitoring an Omnitrix malfunction. Gwen discovers a video showing Azmuth hiding his spacecraft under a truck before a surprise lightning strike causes it to veer off track. There is a Tokustar. It walks away as the video concludes. Tetrax reveals that the Tokustar he and Ben previously engaged in combat was the same one. Retaliator enters and interrupts their chat by pointing a pistol at them. Retaliator informs them that Azmuth is dead and displays a video of the Tokastar destroying the spacecraft. They then inquire about Ben's location after Tetrax pins him to the wall. To help him identify the Omnitrix, Max gives him a picture of it. The spacecraft of Azmuth begins to self-destruct before they can continue questioning Retaliator. Retaliator flees the detonating spacecraft by teleporting away. Gwen protects the others with her power. When Max says they need to hunt for Ben, she feels his energy and claims he is only close. In the meanwhile, Sandra unlocks the door as Grey Matter attempts to enter his house. Carl and Sandra scramble when they see him. He is assaulted by her and thrown outdoors. On touching down, Grey Matter changes into Diamond Head. While Carl is shocked by a firearm, she passes out. Tetrax, Gwen, and Max show up. 
Retaliator arrives and snatches Diamond Head with a rope as soon as Tetrax restores the Omnitrix to its original state. Diamond Head subsequently changes into Ben. Surprising Retaliator. The Omnitrix starts acting strangely once again. Gwen rushes to Ben after realizing what is going on. Except for Max and Ben's parents, everyone vanishes once the Omnitrix flashes. Max goes inside and discovers that the Omnitrix is still there but Ben has left. Then much as in Ben's visions, Gwen and Tetrax find themselves in what seems to be an abandoned city. When Gwen attempts to call anybody, nobody answers except them. They are abruptly informed that they are still on Earth by a female voice and a screen flashing in front of them. Ben and Retaliator wind themselves in a world made of crystal, where a swarm of Lepidopterans assault them. Ben, who is bound to Retaliator by a rope, is being dragged as he departs after changing once again into a mechanical warrior. He fires at the horde in an effort to drive them away. It turns out that the swarm is only passing by and is not chasing them. Gwen, meantime, ascertains that they are within the Omnitrix using her locating spell. A thunder-like sound is heard, and then all of a sudden, a swarm of Vulpamancers charge for them. On a hoverboard made of crystals, Tetrax and Gwen escape. Gwen uses her magic to transport them to one of the building's windows when they get stuck. They are pursued by the Vulpamancers as they ascend to the rooftop. They leap from the roof as Gwen once again uses her power to create a gateway. The Vulpamancers drop to the ground and vanish instantly as the two make their escape via the portal. Gwen and Tetrax drop through the portal as Ben is being forced by Retaliator to acknowledge becoming into the Wicked Tokastar. When the Omnitrix downloaded them, it created a computer simulation of the environment they are now in, according to Gwen. Retaliator attempts to flee with Ben, but Gwen uses her energy bubble spell to stop them. Retaliator is obliged to disclose all that occurred since his power within is ineffective. Retaliator is really Asmuth's father, who hasn't seen him in a millennium. On his approach to Earth, he makes an attempt to get in touch with Asmuth, but instead gets video of Asmuth being trampled by the Tokastar. Retaliator teleports to Bellwood to exact retribution, where he mistakenly shoots down Tetrax's spacecraft for the Tokastars. Ben discovers his coursework and laptop hidden beneath the ice, just as they realize that the wicked Tokastar must have been scanned by the Omnitrix as the Earth suddenly fractures. Then the terrible Tokastar appears above Earth. Ben and Gwen are tied up by Retaliator when he attempts to assault the object, but is stopped by Gwen. Gwen discovers that her deconstruction spell during the battle with the robotic tank damaged the Omnitrix as as the two plunge down a cliff. She thinks her magic and upgrade will be able to return them to Bellwood. They ascend to the surface using Gwen's magic, and Gwen throws a spell on Retaliator's upgrade, making him crackle. When the Omnitrix starts to flash, Max attempts to repair it within the rust bucket. Just in time for the Toku Star to emerge and destroy it, he escapes. The remaining crew members go back to Bellwood. Retaliator chases the Toki Star after he departs without fighting them in order to get vengeance. The Omnitrix turns Ben's parents into Wildmut and Heat Blast before they can harm Ben as he attempts to shift. When Tetrax suggests that Ben's parents are confused after undergoing an alien transformation, Gwen recognizes that Asmuth must be the Toki Star, having undergone a similar transformation to Ben's parents as the Omnitrix did. While he and Max deal with Ben's parents, Textrax orders Ben and Gwen to stop Asmuth and Retaliator from destroying the city. Before moving on to Asmuth and Retaliator, Ben changes into Way Big and carries Gwen on his shoulder. Gwen and Way Big arrive at the scene, and Way Big takes Asmuth right away and attempts to stop him from fighting Retaliator. Way Big outperforms Asmuth, who is squatting feebly on the rubble of demolished structures. When Retaliator sees Way Big, he assumes that he is another foe. With his laser blasts and missiles, he strikes Way Big and knocks him out of the way. Gwen makes an attempt to persuade Retaliator that Way Big is Ben, but Retaliator is unreceptive. Retaliator is grabbed by Way Big just as Asmuth prepares to strike after recovering, saving him from being crushed by the charging Asmuth. Asmuth is pushed by Way Big towards the direction of the structure, but Retaliator escapes from Way Big's grasp. Gwen casts her spell to communicate with Asmuth's mind, after persuading Retaliator that Asmuth is the Tokastar. Asmuth can recall both his father and the Omnitrix. Asmuth uses Retaliator's upgrade to repair the Omnitrix after grabbing Ben and Gwen. The Toku Star vanishes, and the Omnitrix flashes a little while later. They abruptly hear Asmuth's voice, who is suddenly back to being himself. Ben rushes to meet Asmuth, 
who later reveals that he has come to Earth to repair the Omnitrix because he can see that it is overflowing with mana from all across the cosmos. Asmuth receives a heartfelt embrace from Ben. The Retaliator subsequently offers an apology after being overcome with a vengeance since he failed to identify his own kid. Asmuth also expresses regret for putting his family before his creation and claims that his father's aggressiveness is brought on by the Mechamorph armor. Retaliator is shown to be a little Galvin when his armor disintegrates into a cube. Ben begs Asmuth for a favor to get his parents back to normal before he departs. Ben asks Asmuth to assist him undo the Omnitrix's effects so that his parents may continue on their fishing vacation with Max without being able to recall what had occurred. Ben and Gwen quarrel about who should be held accountable for the rust bucket, so Asmuth repairs the car as he and Retaliator are ready to depart. Ben declines to join the fishing excursion and recognizes his error in leaving his folks behind. Ben later gives his history report on the Age of Exploration, highlighting the value of family above adventures as Tetrax departs Earth. The Tennysons are attacked by Dr. Animo and his enormous mutant frog on their road trip the next summer. The story concludes as Ben, Gwen and Max get ready to fight with Animo.